Morning guys, what is going on? It is Friday morning, so I think I've been doing this vlog for about, uh, I don't know, probably about like three weeks now. I know, four weeks actually. I'm um, just uh, in my bathroom because I just had my freezing cold shower, 4.30 in the morning. And that is actually one thing that I absolutely love since I've been getting back in, like, you know, because I was sick. And so I had to stop my cold showers just because I wasn't sure, like, if it would actually affect my cold or not. So I decided to stop it. But honestly, it's like the most addicting thing in the world when I can do it every single morning and it just makes me feel so goddamn fresh. Like it wakes you up faster than any coffee. You make sure you get it done. It only has to be 30 seconds to a minute. So what I'll do at the moment is because I'm trying to work my way back into it, I'll start with hot water, just keep it warm, have it for about a minute or two. And then from there, I'll have a freezing cold shower when I go to get out for 30 seconds. And it just feels amazing. Now, honestly, being awake at this time, it's gonna be hard for you guys haven't done it before. But if you're someone who does wake up in the morning and you need something like that, well then it's gonna be the best way. So I'm just talking to you guys while I actually put on my deodorant. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna go and check the scale and see what the weight's at. Coming into my room now. And let's check. I'm actually, the bulking thing, it's going well. I'm gaining a little bit of time. I'm still doing my two minute fasting. So I'm gonna try and do that and see if you guys can see 66.7. All right, so that's not too bad. The other day I was actually at um 67.2. I was like, whoa, I've actually gained a fair bit of weight. Then again, like I said, it's the water weight, it's all those things that add up. So I haven't done an early morning vlog in a while, and I just thought I'd you know, kind of pull it up. So I'm going to be doing my hour routine now, which is a little bit of learning, a little bit of study, and then I'm going to go into work and train some clients before I start off my podcast with uh, Elk. So that'll be really interesting. Make sure you guys keep an eye out for as she runs uh, in the Primal Blueprint. So that's the update. I'll keep you guys um, updated and speak to you soon. I'm getting better at this stuff. I'm just trying to make it longer for you guys who actually enjoy it. All right, guess where I am? Of course, I'm on the treadmill. Just finished my leg workout, and now I'm getting the blood flow going through. And I'm actually doing some reading at the moment. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but I'm reading. It's about high intensity training, right? And the benefits of it. So it's something I've been incorporating more and more into my workout. And especially with my new coach, he's gonna be giving me this stuff too. So I might as well start practicing. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about is addiction. So I figured I'm actually addicted to coffee, right? Even though I stood off for two weeks and I was like, you know, once I don't need it, I don't need it. But then when I have it again, it's that addiction. It's like that receptor in my brain just going nuts. I'm like, yes, I need it. And like even today, technically I didn't need it, but then I knew, I was like, yeah, I actually, I do need it. I was telling myself that. And you've got to think about what addictions do you have? Could be a sugar addiction, could be addiction to coffee and whatever else, it could be addiction to food. And then you've got to think about how can you negate that addiction because it's a very, very powerful thing if it gets like, you know, if it's drugs or alcohol and things like that. So just think about that because once you become aware of it, becoming aware of it is aware of it, aware of it is the first step. Also, <clears throat> a client was asking me about my 24 hour fast that I do once a month. And even though I'm bulking, whatever my goals are, I'm still looking to do a 24 hour fast once a month to help clear out cells, potential cancer cells. Don't know if I have it, but it's like a precaution. So he was asking me, Tyson, how do I go about it? What should I do for energy? And I said, you know what? It's gonna be tough. All you can do is drink water for 24 hours. And I'm gonna go through it with you because I know it's gonna be a struggle. So what I've decided is, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna do my fast this weekend and then I'm gonna get a huge buffet um, on Sunday with a friend. So I'm gonna stop eating tomorrow around two o'clock and I'm only gonna eat about a thousand calories for the day. And then I'm gonna stop from two o'clock, fast till the next day at about five o'clock and then go to a buffet. That way I'm also saving calories and I'm gonna have a huge buffet with my friend which I've been planning for ages. And it's because of his Dexter scan, like I helped him achieve a really, really good result and we needed to go and celebrate for it and he loved this casino buffet. 
And so I said, you know what, let's go. But because of the gut problems I've been having, I couldn't go. So I'm gonna have about, what is it, 5,000 calories to go nuts on, um, on my buffet. So I'm gonna record that and show you guys just how much I can eat and why I used to be overweight. That's the video for today, guys. I'm probably not gonna post any more tonight because I've got clients and my legs are starting to feel wrecked while I walk on this. So think about your food addictions or your coffee addiction or your alcohol addiction and just become aware of it and then think about how can you take an action step towards reducing it. Like for me with my coffee addiction, I'll cycle on coffee. I'm not gonna have coffee on Sunday. I'm not gonna have coffee on, I might not even have it for a couple of days again just to cycle on and off to get my body away from caffeine again. So that's the video. Hope you guys like it. Please like the video and subscribe and I'll speak to you guys when I'm eating a whole lot of food.